Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about changing the hostname of your ClickSense server. Um, before we get started, though, there is a couple of important notes I want to go through. First of all, proceed with caution with this. It doesn't work 100% of the time, and it can be a problem. So from a best practice perspective, use the Windows computer name, not the fully qualified domain name as the host name. When you buy a cert, you're going to use the name that's on the cert anyway. So the computer name uh, or the host, the default host name doesn't really matter. The second piece is if you've got to use some other value, use the IP address. And if you're using Amazon, try to avoid using the internal domain name created by AWS. It's just ugly. And from a warning perspective, what you're about to see works with ClickSense 2.x. Uh, there's no guarantees it's going to work somewhere else. And if you're changing the name of a deployed server, keep in mind there's some other things you may have to change. Let's get started. All right, I'm going into my instance here, and the first thing I'm going to do is log into the management console. But you're going to notice, because I've got this awful internal EC2 address, that when I type in my user ID and password, it just pops me back to the authentication uh, box. This keeps happening. I don't know why it happens, but it's a problem. Uh, what I typically do is I cancel out of this, and then I just go to the QMC using localhost and that seems to work just fine. Now, we want to change our computer name or the host name of our ClickSense server. And so doing that, you'll see we've got that internal name and that's what our certificates are generated as. And we can't change it from the management console. So we have to change it from the file system. So let me take you through what that looks like. If we go to the folder and we go to the ClickSense folder that's in program data and we go to the host.cfg, you'll see there's this base64 encoded uh, host name. We're going to look at that in just a minute because that's what we're going to change. But you'll also notice if we go into the repository folder, there's this local certificates folder. These are the local certificates that are using or have that internal EC2 name right now. And if we go into the cert manager, the Windows cert manager, you'll see we've got a click client that's been issued by that CA of that internal name, as well as a server certificate and a root certificate. And so we need to change all of these things. In order to change them, we actually need to delete them. So we're going to start off by stopping all of the ClickSense processes. And this includes the service dispatcher. Uh, yeah, the service dispatcher doesn't really do anything, but just for safety's sake, let's go ahead and stop it. Once all of our services are stopped, we're going to go to back to the cert manager and we're going to start by deleting the trusted root certificate. And we'll get our message. We'll say yes, delete that. We'll go to the server cert. We're going to delete that. And then we're going to go to the current user store and delete the click client cert. And that clears our certs out of the cert manager. Now what we want to do is delete this dot local certificates folder and empty the recycle bin, get rid of them completely. And then we're going to go back to the sense folder and we're going to make a copy of this host.cfg file. Now, there's really no benefit to making the copy. It's just good to have the old computer name in base64 encoded format. For the new name, I'm going to use the IP address of the server and it's going to be the internal uh, IP address. So in order to get a base64 encoded version of that, I've got a great website that I like to go to, and it's base64encode.org. And what I can do is grab my IP address, pop it into the top box, click encode, and I grab the value from the bottom. I copy that, and I go back to my text file, and I paste it in, and I save this, and I close the file. And then now what I can do is go back to services and restart all of my ClickSense services. And you'll notice I start them in a particular order. You may start them in a different order. I typically start with the service dispatcher and then go to the database and then walk through the rest. Once the services are started, the ClickSense server will go ahead and regenerate the certificates. So if we go back to the repository and the exported certificates, you'll see we've got a new .local certificates folder. And then if we refresh these cert stores, you'll see we've got our new click client, our new server, and our new trusted root cert, all using the IP address. That's now the name of the server. 
But the thing is, is if we go double click on the icon, we're still seeing the old internal name and we get the privacy message and we can't log in. Well, that's not surprising. Uh, but you'll also notice we can't log in with localhost either now. And basically what's happened is, is we started the services, but for whatever reason, the certs haven't refreshed. So we're just going to go ahead and restart the proxy service again. It's going to read those certs that were just created. We'll go ahead and we'll go to localhost QMC again. And we'll get our privacy message, which we expect. And now we log in. And if we go back to the nodes, you can see our host name has been changed to the IP address. That's how to do it. Good luck. Take care.